Welcome everyone to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Reiner and today we will continue building the perfect base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps to get this video to other people. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe as well. In the last video, we changed our oxygen production to a more sustainable solution. We were running off of uh, algae deodorizers, uh, which uses algae here. Uh, and we only have 6.6 .6 tons left, so it was about time that we switched to something else. That something else is this electrolyzer here, which of course uses water. Uh, that water needs to be clean and without germs, otherwise the germs will also go into the oxygen. Um, so what we did uh, to make this sustainable is use our polluted water, which we had a lot here collected in our infinite storage. Make it a uh, germ remover, make it clean water. Pump it in here, uh, so we, we have an infinite storage as well for clean water, as you can see we have a lot of it. That water goes in here, uh, we, uh, this electrolyzer produces 70 degree hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen we pre-cool with the 30 degree water that comes from here. So we pump out our 30 degree water from here, we first fill our oxygen, uh, our um, exosuits. And the rest goes down to be cooled further because 30 degrees is still a little bit hot. So what we do is we have this heat sink here, which we cool to 12 degrees using this uh, aqua tuner. So we have a nice and cool um, area here. And this water goes th through, or this oxygen goes through and is cooled to a nice cold temperature. Uh, and then is spread via these vents through the base. Um, we are producing more oxygen than we are using. So we're producing about 888 grams, I think it was, per second of oxygen. Six duplicants uh, without the mouth breather uh, trait uh, use at a maximum 600 grams per second. So we have a little bit of excess, which means that this pipe here is going to fill up. Um, and if it fills up and this um, back fills, uh, at so some point you get a problem. So we made an overflow here. Um, this bridge means that we first always go here. If this is full, we go into this overflow and to this infinite storage for oxygen. Uh, and then we can use it whenever we need it, which will probably be never. I see we have smooth hatching eggs. Okay, nice. Um, anyway, with that out of the way and our food problems also out of the way because these hatching farms are going to produce more than enough food for our duplicants. Uh, we have been gathering up barbecue for days. So we don't we have food and oxygen and those are the two main things that we need for our duplicants. Uh, if you have that, you're basically immortal in this game. So we can do whatever we want. Um, and whatever we want I want to give some freedom to the people that are actually watching this series. So uh, thank you for watching, um, guys and girls, of course. Um, I had a comment of Fall Witch uh, about the food. Uh, we're now using barbecue, but what we can do is make more fancy food. Uh, and that's going to be the topic of today's video. Uh, if we look at the foods, here we see all the foods, uh, we have barbecue, we have cooked fish from our uh, fish here. Um, you can make frost burgers, which we haven't seen yet, uh, which is a fancy meal. Uh, we also have mushroom wraps, pepper bread, uh, we have spicy to tofu, stuffed berry and surf and turf. And the surf and turf is an interesting one because it only uses meat and fish to make a plus four quality food. Uh, right now we're using barbecue, which is a plus three quality food. So that's a little bit better. Uh, and as I said, we only need cooked fish and we need barbecue to make surf and turf. And we have both of them. Uh, barbecue, we have an infinite amount basically. And fish, we have a lot of fish here, which are continuously producing um, fish meat. Uh, without any effort. So we're going into that. Uh, as you can see here, we cannot make those fancy meals in this cooking station, in this electric grill. So we need um, to research um, this gas grill, gas range here. So that's what we're going to do. 
uh, the gas range is going to produce uh, a bit of heat, carbon dioxide, uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. But it also uses natural gas. Luckily, we have natural gas down here. We tamed this natural gas geyser a couple of episodes ago, uh, which gives us very hot natural gas, which we now just use for power. But we can also use this, use it to um, to power this gas range. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, in order to do that, we need to make some room here. So I'm going to move this one to here. We need power. Okay, let me build this first. And then I can remove this. Uh, what I also want to do is add some cooling because this gas range is once again going to add uh, some heat. So what I'm going to do is add a Weasward here to cool this down passively. Uh, we can also remove this mealwood because it's just eating up dirt, which we don't need to waste. Um, and then we need to cool this gas because if we just pump in this 75 degrees gas into this gas range here and through the base, even though we use uh, insulated gas pipes, it will start heating up the base. So what, what I'm going to do is make a shared system where we use oxygen and natural gas in this cooling loop in order to um, cool down the natural gas as well. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to move over the oxygen a bit. Uh, let me see. I'm going to connect that, that, and then we go down. And here I'm also going to do something like this and up. All right, that should be the pipes that we need. Uh, all insulated, of course. Uh, and we need pipes from over here as well. Let's uh, leave some of it open so that the gas doesn't start flowing yet. Uh, we don't want to mix oxygen and natural gas. That will be uh, a big issue. Uh, I did already set this to gourmet meal. Okay, so let's wait until this is all built up. Uh, I want this to be done first. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Seven is okay. Once this is built, we can start removing this one because the gas range is a little bit bigger, needs a little bit more space. That's what we need to give it as well. But yeah, Max needs to put his time here for sure. So let's put this both to seven. Um, I see we also have a battery here still. Let me deconstruct this as well. We don't need this here. We have batteries outside and this is just generating heat. Uh, and this power cable can also go. All right, that is built. So we can move our manual storage to here. That means we can remove all of this uh, in order to make room for the gas range once it's done. Uh, this one we can put in one of our ward seats. Let's plant it here. Okay, this is all freed now. So we have nice room for our gas range. Uh, we're also building down the pipes here. And let me prioritize the oxygen pipes. Yeah, these need to be done first. Then we can shift our oxygen uh, lines. Okay, these are all done. Uh, let me see. I want this oxygen to move through a little bit. Uh, okay, let me disconnect this. The oxygen will all flow through this pipe. Then it will go down there. Uh, make sure this isn't built. From here, I'm going to go down to there. Disconnect this and this. Disconnect this, and from here we're going into there. And then we can also disconnect this. So we are only going to use this part of the oxygen pipe for 
cooling the oxygen you can still still uh, 15 degrees 17 uh, we can lower it a little bit by lowering this let's say 10 degrees because we're going to put more heat into this i want to limit it still uh, but we are going to put more heat into this um, system and uh, so let me see let's oh yeah we cannot do that yet this we can remove uh, what I want to put in here is a gas valve. And this is to limit the amount of natural gas that we're throwing into this cooling system. Uh, you can see there's 1000 grams of natural gas per tile, but the gas range only needs 100 grams per second um, in order to run. So we don't need to uh, throw full packets through the system. Uh, that's just going to... Uh, overheat uh, the gas and our base so we're, we're going to put it make it a little bit lower uh, let me see almost done with the novice research okay so as i said we need a hundred grams per second uh, the gas range is not going to run a hundred percent of the time so i'm just going to set this to 75 grams per second that way uh, these pipes will generate a, kind of a buffer for gas uh, and that should be more than enough. Let me also clean up this here and also this here. And the salt water, we cannot sweep. We don't have a spot for that yet. We'll get into that later on. Anyway, the oxygen is here. Still cooled more than enough. Yeah, this is below uh, zero. Because it's only a little bit of oxygen. But yeah, this is cooled plenty. So we don't get hot oxygen. Why is this not being built? Alright, we're waiting a little bit on Max. Uh, is Max sleeping? Max is eating. Alright. We need that gas range to be built. Uh, we actually can also start removing this bridge because we don't need it anymore. And then we can remove this gas pipe because right now we're just going down here and over here while we can use this bridge as well. All right, and we can deconstruct that. Okay, this is now also built so we can connect this up. Cancel this. They always... I don't know how to do this so that they don't try to build something. So, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five tiles now for the natural gas, which is going to be 75 grams per tile. And we have one, six, seven tiles for the oxygen. Um, so, we should be okay. All right, so now we're just waiting for Max here. Uh, last bits, 10 research to go. And then we can start going through this let me clean up this as well clean up the base a little bit all right let's see it one more there we go gas range is done let's put it here uh, we need power for the gas range, so let's connect the power up. Uh, okay, the gas input is on this side, so let's put it here. And then we can see that we can make all kinds of fancy foods. We have the stuffed berries, uh, which uses gristle berry, which we don't have, and pinch of pepper nuts, which is spoiling all the time outside, so we don't have that much of those. Actually, maybe we should put those also in here in... Uh, are they here? Cooking ingredients, I guess. Pinch of pepper nuts. Yeah, let's put them in there as well. So that we don't spoil them all. This way they get cooled. Uh, okay, so we have mushroom wraps, which uses lettuce, which we don't have. Fried mushroom, I think we had that before. Then we have surf and turf, which uses barbecue and cooked fish, which we can do. So this one we're going to do forever. I'm going to set this to a seven. 
Then we have pepper bread, sleet wheat, and pinch of pepper nuts. So again, we need pinch of pepper nut, which is spoiling most of the time. Maybe we set a farm of this as well, uh, because surf and turf is quality plus four, pepper bread is plus five. So it's a little bit better, but yeah, surf and turf is a lot of calories here. Then spicy tofu, which requires tofu, which we don't have, and pinch of pepper nuts. And we have frost burgers, which uses a lot, but the quality is plus six, uh, which I think is the best food there is. Uh, but yeah, again, we need lettuce, barbecue and frost buns. So those two we have, uh, but yeah, the lettuce is uh, a little bit more tricky. So yeah, we have our gas range done, but it needs gas. So let's connect this up. Uh, I Did we already set this to 75? Yep. So now we will see gas coming from this side. It will get put into smaller packages here. Yep. And this gas will uh, cool down from 80 degrees all the way to um, about 9 degrees, which is a lot better. So we don't overheat our base. These pipes are a little bit warm because of the material they build off. But yeah, now we have gas in here uh, this gas range can contain i think 10 kilograms of natural gas and it's slowly filling up uh, which is fine uh, because that gives us some kind of small buffer because we're not putting in that much gas per second maybe we can even set this to 50 even though i don't think it's really necessary it's already cooling down sufficient Natural gas, seven, eight kilograms. Yeah, it's almost full already. Let's let's leave it at 50 and see how this goes. Uh, but yes, yeah, seven, and this is also a seven. I think that is fine. Or should this be a six? Maybe this should be a six. So if we have something to cook here, uh, we should let it go first, and then we f fulfill this one. An interesting thing to note with these cooking machines, and I didn't know that yet, uh, but I learned that in my test uh, walkthrough, we made this cool storage to make sure that the food doesn't spoil. But if you look in the inventory of these um, cooking machines, we have raw egg in here, 750 grams, and the change per cycle is no, 0%. So we're not losing any quality on this raw egg. And I think that this raw egg has been in here for a long time. Then we have this Paco Filet, 2000 grams, 0%. Meat, 0%. So the things in here, they don't spoil, uh, which is very important. So if we have parts, why does all this stuff have food poisoning? That's very odd. Anyway, oh yeah, we have uh, our surf and turf down here. So we need to add that to our sweeping stuff. So it gets uh, into the cooling, into the deep freeze, and then into our storage. So why am I doing this? Uh, because the stuff in here doesn't spoil, apparently. It stays at 0% per cycle. But the food in here is not refrigerated. It's only in a sterile atmosphere because this is a vacuum. Uh, so we need to use up this food that comes from here first. That's why I want to have this at a little bit higher priority than this one. And I have done it exactly the wrong way around. Okay, interesting. See, so we have something here with four kilo, uh, tons of ice. Let me use that for some <laughs> damp shift plates. Like this is okay. Anyway, um, so now we are producing surf and turf. Uh, if we go to consumables, you can see automatically, if something is added, they're going to use that automatically. Um, but I'm gonna just remove barbecue because we already have 36,000 kilocalories of surf and turf. They are 6,000 per craft. So we have plenty. Um, and May here is going to make a lot of this stuff. Uh, at, Actually, we can make pepper bread as well. Should we make this? Let's let's also make this. Hmm. 
Why not? Then we have it in the recipes. As you can see, natural gas is backing up here, but it's all cooled down a lot. Uh, so we're not getting the hot gases in our base. And that is all of the reason why I connected that up. Uh, we still have some ice here. I cannot... Okay, I cannot... Somehow, after the game updated, uh, I have problems with this printing pot. Whenever I print something, I cannot access it. Do we have ice in our base? See all. Ice. There is ice there. 800 kilograms. So if I make one more temp shift plates. There. Oh, there's... Oh, this one is not even connected. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I hope they're going to use this stuff here. They are. Okay. I don't want to get a mess where the ice here uh, melts. Anyway, so we have Surf and Turf. Um, that's already it. That's how easy it is to switch. Uh, let me see. So that is done now. Uh, what I also want to do is some uh, automation with our um, storage. Because we have a lot of uh, coal still here. And I want to move that to uh, here. But I also want to move up this stuff. Uh, so we're going to do some extra stuff for that. Uh, also in this episode, so let me dig out some things here. I want to attack this as soon as we can. And then we're going to set up a nice spot here. Let me dig out all of this as well. And dig up this. Okay, that's that. Let's see, refinement. Uh, metal refinery has to be on the outside. Uh, maybe what conductive wire. Let's go down here. We have oil here. All right. Let's see, ceramics, we have 11 tons. Um, but yeah, we're going to make another room down here with ceramics. Let me do it like that for now. Then we have to... Uh, Wait, let me make it like this. This one we don't have to dig up yet. Uh, uh, Rowan, you banana, what the hell are you doing? Very smart, Rowan. Hi. Uh, Let's go like this. Okay, we can get out of there now. They got this stuff as well. Anyway, how does this look? Surf and turf 43,000 now. We don't have sleep with grain, that's fine. Oh, we never made this. Never mind then. No, actually, <laughs> it's on the floor now. That's not good. So this is sleet wheat grain and pinch of pepper nuts. Let's uh, set this to uh, off.
We have nine here, okay. Okay, we can close this off. And this bastard came out anyway. Great. Should we just kill him? These things are so annoying. If it can go out here... Wait. Set this to a 9. <laughs> of course it runs back again. Where is it? What? Where's the Draculet? Is it stuck somewhere? I don't even see it. Anywho, do we have... No, we don't have a place to sweep this. Uh, so what we can do is deconstruct those two. And this one. So we have a bit of oil here for our... Um, And uh, our water lock. Uh, okay. Not completely what I wanted to do. Interesting. Nice. Can leave that. Oh, that's what. Jesus Christ. I am so stupid. That's what the water came from. Nine. This has to be done quickly. No wonder. Uh. Yeah, luckily, most of the stuff is already cooled. Um, but yeah, we're not cooling this much anymore. Because this needs to be made. Whoops! Cooling loop coming back in. Uh, how is this going? We have still cooked fish, we have barbecue. Should be making more surf and turf, but may sleeping. Okay. All right. So we have this here. Let's sweep everything up again. Let's make this our oil sweep only. Let me deconstruct this tile and not everything underneath. Is there anything underneath? This was. Stupid. Okay. Seems like we are still okay. We have a little bit of extra cooling to do. But uh, we're okay. This is still 10 degrees. Yeah, no heat at all. Perfect. Palm lily seeds. Don't drop stuff on the floor, guys. See, we have a couple of... How are we here? We have two of these. At some point I want to swap these over to stone hatchlings as well. But uh, we don't have to do that just yet. Uh, so let me do this real quick. Maybe this one we can make um, a igneous rock tile. And then we should start bumping out this stuff. All right. Draculet should not be able to get in here anymore because they don't like to go through water, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, let me 
Let me pump this out and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, the pump is working now. Uh, I also made sure that we could access some more sleet wheat grain. So now we can actually create some uh, pepper bread. Uh, we should have some pepper bread soon. Although we're still making the surf and turf. Let me see. Because once we have pe pepper bread, we need to also add it to here. Otherwise, we don't pick it up. Okay, there's still surf and turf. Uh, if we look here, we already have 153,000 kilocalories of surf and turf. Uh, we still have 3,200 kilocalories calories of cooked fish. So um, we're almost done making the surf and turf, I guess. We have pepper bread now here. So let me also add that to this one and to this one. So it's already cooled as well in our cooling. So Pepper Rat is cooled here. And then stored. Nice. Um, so now we also have Pepper Bread. Let me see. Consumables. I think we're going to... Why is this on? We're going to remove this for now. It is also better food, but let's, let's save it for a bit, uh, I guess. Because it's going to stay good for ever anyway uh, okay this is all done so we can remove all of this now let's remove this as well and i guess this whole power pipe can go now and then we're going to make this an addition of the steam uh, area um, the power is coming in from here and i just want to lead it down here so i'm going to make some ladders here out of uh, let's say obsidian uh, obsidian is a little bit excessive igneous rock is fine let's make the ladders like this we're going to make power wires here they can mix with the ladders uh, and this is how the power comes to this room uh, let me also empty this out again then we need to have a storage for the coolant uh, the coolant is going to be very hot so i want to have my storage in this room in a liquid reservoir, we're going to put that in a steel reservoir. Uh, we're going to put that here. Again, we cannot turn this around, so we're going to put it like this. And then plumbing. We have some insulated plumbing. This is where it comes in. And this is where it goes out. Uh, radiance out of lead is okay. And then we're going to use this room to um, heat up the coolant. Yeah, we're going to use all of this room to... Um, to do that. What I'm also going to do is produce my plastics here. So we're going to go to refine and polymer press also out of plastic uh, out of plastic out of steel let's turn that around so we're going to drop that here and i think i want to have a second one here but we need a little bit of extra steel uh, let me make a little bit more steel down here the last bit of steel that we're going to make here uh, let me see we need um, let's say three of these and two of these And then we can put in the second uh, polymer press as well. Actually, we also need shipping. We need to have a conveyor loader also out of steel. So we actually need 400 kilograms of steel. Let me see. Here, so this needs to be four. Which means we need 280 kilograms of iron. So that's three. 283 should be fine. Yeah, three should be fine. All right. So that should work out, and then we can make another polymer press right here. Oh, wait. We also need an auto sweeper out of steel. So we need 200 extra. Oh, boy. 
Uh, so we need six of these, uh, which means we need 420 iron, which means we need five of these then. Let's just do it like this. Um, this probably will be the last bit of uh, steel that we're producing down there. The rest is all going to be produced in this room uh, where we're going to reuse the heat that is coming out of this metal refinery. For now, let's leave it like this. All right. How are we on petroleum? Didn't we have petroleum here? Or did we already move that away? Uh, wait, I have the wrong key. Yeah, this is all petroleum. And this is all cooled down in this area. Um, yeah. I guess I need to cut this for a bit. Because it's not my intention to use this cool area, this ice biome, to cool down this petroleum. Right now it's all super cold. Uh, but I want to make this out of insulated uh, pipes. So we don't use up all of our coldness there for uh, yeah for that that's a little bit ridiculous uh yeah let me let us build all of that first we're going to need a little bit more steel and iron i hope they're working on that max's work on it all right And I'm going to, of course, um, get back all of the ceramic that we're using here. But only once this is all steam. Because right now, we're just going to lose a lot. Um, here, I want to put in my plastics automatically. And I want to have that also shipped out automatically. I don't want to be, uh, have to go in here all the time. So I'm just going to... Go like this, have a conveyor chute here, have a, uh, actually let me make it three white. Have a conveyor chute there. Like that. All right, this is all in. Uh, I waited with the pipe here because of our polymer press, which we want to, of course, avoid. Uh, this doesn't have to be radiant. Uh, we can have this insulated. I think we're going to jump over like this. So we're going to put it here. Yeah, that should be okay. We have 300 kilograms of steel. Let me see. Auto sweeper out of steel. I'm gonna make it like uh, this. And we, of course, need power. Like that. And I guess we can already start putting in some water here. And we need to wait for a little bit more steel. Okay. Uh, this can be connected. And this also. And I don't want to exchange that. All right. So the heat liquids that come from here are going in here. They're uh, releasing their heat in the steam room. It's going to be steam room. Uh, the water is going here. It jumps over uh, plumbing, jumps over this one. And then it also jumps over this one. Because we're going to have a second polymer press also here. Once we have the 400 kilograms of steel. Uh, this one, water, water, as an eight auto bottle, 
bring all the water here. Alright, all of the steel is done, so we can make another one out of steel uh, there. And that should all work. Uh, we are putting in water here. This should already be enough. So once this is empty, we're going to remove this. And we can deconstruct this one again. Sweet. All right, so those are now enabled. Um, now we need to have some liquids. Now we need to have some liquids for this loop. So we need to get our petroleum in. Uh, let me see. Do we want to let that go through there. 40 degrees. Let's see. We're going to go like this. And then for now, we're also going like this and then jump over there. So we fill up this whole loop and this one partially as well because I want to have some buffer here. And then in the meantime, I guess we can also connect this one. And once this is made, we can also connect this. So we produce some heat to prime this room before we open up this one here. Because otherwise this is going to be a vacuum and that's not what we want. Because there's hot stuff in here that needs something to release its heat. All right, let's see this. Oh yeah, these of course don't work yet because there's no power yet. Yep, so we can connect this, um, but it doesn't do anything. So for now, I guess we can put a little bit of stuff in there. But for the start, I want to put something in here. And this water will heat up slight. Oh, it's actually pretty hot here. Oh, that's because of the steel, of course. Anyway, we're cooling down everything a little bit, filling up this here, and then it should start backtracking. Do we already have everything? Nice. Let's actually this uh, deconstruct. Whoops, 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 whoops. Do not. I don't want to deconstruct our polluted water pipe there. We can deconstruct all of that. And then I can also exchange igneous all of this for igneous so that we don't try to cool down our um, cold biome too much so let's build that up as well we have a little bit of liquid here but this is not enough yet but yeah let me let them uh, deconstruct deconstruct this a bit and then i'll be back All right, this is all built up so we can connect this once again. So we can get some more uh, petroleum up here for our cooling loop. And now it won't lose as much heat in this cold biome. And we're making tungsten. Okay, this is slowly filling up a bit. We don't need a massive amount of petroleum in here. 
But I want to have a little bit of spare. Let's say um, 1500 or something, 1000. Okay, that should be enough. So we can stop that there and then we can make sure that the rest of the petroleum ends up in these uh, polymer presses. Okay, so now this is all the vacuum. Um, now we just need to make heat so this water can um, evaporate into steam. And once it does, we can open up all of this and yeah, make this one big room. All right, water is closing in on 100 degrees, so we should get steam very soon. It will condense immediately again because it's uh, heating up all of the devices first. Okay, it's actually doing pretty okay. So all of this is steam now, 13 kilograms, 27. It could have been a little bit more, I guess. Uh, maybe we should add in a bit more how hot is this getting? 120. Let's put in a little bit more water. Let me deconstruct this one here. So we can connect power and then these can also start uh, creating heat. But I want to have a little bit more steam. So we're going to get a little bit more water. 20 kilograms, 21, 24. Let's do one more canister of water. This is opened up. Let's make a ladder here. Okay, once this is done, we can turn this off and deconstruct. All right, let's sweep up this as well. Now we have 27 kilograms of steam in there, which means we can start swapping these out for mesh tiles. Yeah, I guess mesh is okay. Copper. Uh, need a little bit higher priority. And that way we exchange the steam from up and down. So I make sure that eight, let's make these as well. Now we get our ceramic back. All right. Uh, and once that is okay, we can hook up this actually. Let's just create this one. All right, all the ceramic is out. Now we can connect up this here. We have power. We have petroleum, no gas output. Eh. I knew I missed something, whoops. Uh, so we want to have this here. Let me see, let's get it down, I guess. Then in that direction. And then we want to make it connect up here, I guess. And a gas bridge. So we can add the carbon dioxide that's coming from here into our infinite storage. And now we're producing uh, plastic. This one should put it in here as soon as we get some plastic and this should uh, conveyor and this will move the plastic to here. All right, see that work? Perfect. Seems that everything here now is working. I guess we're still making a lot of iron here, which is fine. Uh, but we can close this off now uh, with some more ceramic. 
And that means we have basically infinite uh, plastic generation now. Because plastics we're going to need for some luxurious stuff. Close it off. Nice. Okay. This is all closed off now. Sweep this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. We made a lot of steps. Let me see. We have 161,000 surf and turf. So that's enough for a lot of cycles. Uh, once we get some more cooked fish, we're going to turn that into um, uh, surf and turf again. As you can see, we have barbecue in here and sleet wheat grain. But because we don't have pinched apple nuts and cooked fish anymore, these don't work. And luckily, these do not degrade in here. So that's perfect. Uh, also, our base is not heating up with all of the uh, gases that are coming in here, luckily. This is also still a fine temperature coming from here. Why is this so cold? Hmm. Okay. Super cold. Uh, and we made some nice plastic production. It is coming out rather hot, 90 degrees. Uh, maybe we should make some flower pots next to them with... Uh... Does that help? Don't think it will help a lot to cool this down. Maybe we need to make some cooling solution like this again. I'll put them also through here to cool them down a bit. Because 90 degree plastic is pretty hot. Um, let me see. Yeah, it has a, quite a bit of capacity as well. Maybe we should uh, route them through here as well. Um, yeah, but not in this episode anymore. Um, if you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to do next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.